Hello, my YouTube friends. It's Richard, founder of Short Term Rental University and Airbnb Superhost. On today's Monday Motivation, I'm going to be talking about the importance of surrounding yourself with the right people in order to ensure that you're on the right path to achieving your goals and your success. So what's kind of cool about these Motivation Mondays is they're contemporaneous. They're sort of real time. It's what I happen to be thinking about, what I'm working on or towards, and like they're not exactly well thought out. I mean, I think they're articulate and intelligent and actionable, and that's the goal. They're supposed to motivate you, but they're going to change. And what I happen to be thinking about right now and what I'm reading is a book by Ray Dalio. It's called Principles. And for those of you who don't know Ray, he's the number one most successful hedge fund person in the world. I happen to know of his organization, Bridgewater Associates. I know a lot of my colleagues that were employees there and continue to be employees there. And it's a very unique um, management style. They search for radical truth. And every single conversation is recorded in every single building, every single phone, and there is no privacy. And it's all about just like truth. And what he tries to do is remove emotion and personal and ego from the equation and just say like there is a truth and the truth best serves the most people and so it's definitely a unique organization uh, not for everyone I probably wouldn't thrive there but that doesn't mean that some of the principles don't apply and I'm reading his book right now um, and it got me thinking about my principles and what's important to me and he encourages me and others to write them down and then it got me thinking about other things that I've heard a lot and I sort of recognize in a spouse, which is that you're the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. And so if you're spending a lot of time with people and you don't know what their principles are and you don't know what your principles are, like where you're going and where you're going to end up could be very different from what you ideally would want. And so my promise to myself is to figure out exactly what my principles are. Um, I think you know a lot about what I stand for, and I think I know a lot about what I stand for, but I'm going to get even more granular, and I'm going to do the work, and I'm going to write them down, and then I'm going to think about who I spend a lot of time and energy with, and make sure that my principles are aligned with what I think their principles are, so that I put myself in the best position, the most likelihood to succeed towards my goal, and my why, and achieve that, not just find out that I spent, you know, a year, or two, or five, or ten going down this path, and I thought I was doing everything, and all of a sudden I find out that, like, gee, we're not really well aligned. And so to give you a perfectly good example right now, um, we've done a lot of different meetups. We met some really great people all over the country. And I think a lot of the people are, you know, very, very simpatico with my principles and what we're driving for. And so that's like hard work and ambition and entrepreneurialism and so on. And there were some people that I think were much more about like get rich quick and I'm going to use Airbnb. And if I scam this and I do the price and like, it was all about like hacks and stuff like that. And that serves them very well. I think they're going to do extremely well for a period of time until it stops working. But that's probably not somebody that I want to spend a ton of time and energy with. That's not somebody I want to invite into my community. That's just, it's a different approach to business. I'm not being critical or judgmental. I'm just saying it's not right for me. And the people that I like to spend my time with are much more positive and willing to put in the work and we have like grit and determination. And so I started creating these core values for the membership. I posted them on the Facebook group. If you're not on the Facebook group, go check that out. But it's like, I think some of the principles that are relevant to me and the hope there is that they're relevant to like-minded people and like-minded people gravitate towards that membership. And by the way, if like they don't resonate with you, then that's cool too. It's not, again, it's not about being right or wrong or, or being on a high horse. It's just saying these are the things that like this community sort of stands for. And to that end, I'm really, really encouraged. We just launched the membership. It's been way more successful and way more popular than I anticipated. I think Charles, you too were uh, surprised. Yeah. And so like it's going really great. And what's really great about it isn't just the number of people that subscribe, but the number of people that are like mutually aligned. I think our principles without even doing the exercise are aligned. The comments, the feedback, the questions, the answers, the work ethic, the dedication. It's like it's going somewhere. It's going to be great. And I'm really, really excited about it. So on this Monday's motivation, I just wanted to get down the concept of know what your principles are. If you haven't read the book, you should. We're going to go ahead and put it in our kit because I think it's that good. Um, and also recognize that who you're spending your time with, whether it's at work or on your weekends or nights or whatever, like they are influencing who you result, right? Like what your end game is. So think about who you're spending your time with, make sure their principles align with yours. And if they do, off to the races. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please join us over in the Facebook group. Like the video, share the video, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks so very much and have a great day and a great week. Happy hosting.